you're you're you are what we tell you to be, Eric. More millennials <laughs> think this from Newsweek. Think referring to a transgender person by the wrong pronoun should be a criminal offense than think it should be legal, according to a new poll conducted exclusively for Newsweek. Now, of course, it's a it's gonna be a poll, depends on who they asked and where, but this generation of millennials, I mean, unless we start coming out with mass amounts of data, I don't know how much we can believe this. These are probably people who haven't thought about this at all, and they obviously think hate speech is something. 44% of those aged 25 to 34 think, quote, referring to someone by the wrong gender pronoun, he, him, she, her, should be a criminal offense, end quote, versus just 31% who disagree, the remainder neither, neither agree or disagree or don't know. I would like to ask these people why, because what we've realized, Eric, that a lot of the things we've run into in this world today are based on hurting somebody being mean get kicked off of twitter for being mean uh you got demonetized on youtube for being mean any everything boils down to being mean and this is the entire paradigm of whether or not somebody's sincere in their beliefs because they're not the excuse is you're being mean what it really is is we don't want you to express these opinions because it's bad for us political politically and that stops us from making money true or false yeah, well, it, yes, it's true. And they know as much as the media likes to pretend that regular people like you and I are absolutely insane, I promise you. And look, I'm not going to sit here. I, I can't say definitively, quite obviously. But I think if you go even into the dungeon, into the belly of the most extreme cities like San Francisco, or Manhattan, the media is telling you that you're you're an outlier and you're the mean one and you're wrong. But if you actually go there and talk to people, if you spent a couple hours in Manhattan or in San, or even more, more notably Oakland, nobody's. Go- I shouldn't say nobody. That's wrong. Very few people are actually going to be on board with this. And I would venture to say that the people who are on board with this. Are, they don't actually believe it. They are just scared. Um, like we remember the girls from the whatever podcast who went viral a handful of months ago, you know, saying that they know what a woman is, but they're too scared to say it. And I haven't read this article. We'll get through it a little bit more. But um, very simply, I, I think I think it's fake. I think it's like this is just them. This is just them on the next level of pretending that normal people are completely inappropriate, but it's just not the case. And if it were the case there, what's the meme? There's a meme that floats around. It it comes, it goes maybe not viral, but it it shows up every couple of months where if, if, if we were wrong, then their propaganda wouldn't be necessary. Right. Mm. So they're doing this because they know that they're on the outs. And this is why I get really scared. I get scared is not the word concerned okay um that nothing's going to be on the level because now the rain is here um because if everything were on the level it wouldn't have bro we normal people still exist there are regular kids playing baseball and soccer and basketball and parents and families and mailmen all of most of the stuff is absolutely normal me and you are eyeball deep in political culture war and stuff. So it seems like there's far more people actually doing this. But I think when you boil it down, there's a handful of people on Twitter who are trying to terrorize the rest of the world. That's all it is. And we are at this particular point in time continuing a battle against a tiny minority of crazy people who are trying to wield power. So there's... um. There's a book that I'm reading. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but there's a book that I've been... been <laughs> the <thinking>. Bible. <laughs> there, there's a book that I've been uh, tasked with reading, and it basically says, amongst other things, that oftentimes the minority will lead the charge, right? Because it's very easy. And actually, damn it, shout out to Tim Pool, and I'm just citing him, I think, at least for the second time today, is that it's easier It's easier to to... To change the rules so that the fraction, the tiny minority will be okay with it, right? So say for, um, it's easier to make, to make a kosher dinner if you have one kosher guest. 
because the non-kosher people will eat kosher food, but the kosher person won't eat non-kosher mm. food. And, and no shade, I, I, I don't want to get canceled for it. I mean, I should have given an example because I know there's a certain group. The point I'm halal. trying to make is halal, right? There's a, so th- there's a handful of other examples that I'm blanking on right now, but basically you capitulate to the, to the minority because the regular people will just go along with it and they'll say, I don't care. Whereas the tiny minority will say, I'm not doing that because they are a little bit more, for whatever reason, steadfast in their beliefs and, and for, for better or for worse. But you, you see what I'm saying? It's like the minority can steer, can steer the ship, which is what we're seeing. Shout out to Dave Chappelle for the, you know, the LGBT car analogy. They're steering the ship because everybody else will get on board because they don't really care that much. It's just those tiny, that tiny few, that handful of people that care that they won't go the other way. If that makes sense. So the poll was of 1,500 people, and uh, the millennial figure contracts starkly with that for Americans as a whole, which is only 19% want misgendering to be a criminal offense. Still too high, of course. 65% uh, disagree. 12% either agree nor disagree, and 4% answered that they don't know. Notably, Gen Z's 18 to 24 who can vote are notably less clean, keen on making misgendering a crime than older millennials. 33% think that it should be the a criminal offense, while 48% disagree. So what was the original number here again? I'm not sure. The original number was. Mm-hmm. So we That's too far. All the way up. Yeah, I guess so, eh? Oh, yeah, eh? 44%. <laughs> so even almost 20% more millennials than Gen Z's, or 11%. Still, they want it to be illegal compared to the even younger people who, by and large, are much more likely to have gender pronouns that are differing from the rest of the population because they are less... They are more immune to the propaganda, I would have to say, being inundated with yeah. with it on a daily basis. Whereas the Gen Z, or sorry, the millennials, uh, I would wager people who are a bit older than us, my brother and my sister's age, um, won't tell you how old they are. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, again, they just don't want to be mean. And you see this, the Starbucks people, the people who work for Bud Light, anything that is mean or uncomfortable has to be completely avoided at all costs because that's how they thought that's how they were going to get popular. That's how they think they're going to get popular on social media. And that's what gets rewarded a lot of the time, but that's what it all comes down to. And it's sickening Eric final thoughts. Well, I I think basically what you're kind of saying is that the millennials, a little bit older people are for whatever reason are more scared of the algorithm and more scared of the mob. Whereas maybe the Gen Z people who they don't even understand, they, they never lived without the internet. They don't, they don't, it's not as scary to them. I don't know. Like for some reason they're like, you know, I, I was born with an iPad in my hand and I'm not really worried about it versus the millennials mm-hmm. who are a little bit older who still think that, who still think that Twitter's real for some reason, like they haven't fully <laughs> got a grasp on it. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if you can hear it's legitimately storming outside. I don't know if you can hear it now, but no, I can't hear it. Okay. What I want to know is, you know, Oh, I can hear it a bit now. It's fine. It's good ambience. Turn it up, Jordan.